Well, hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video and spending a portion of your day with me. It really means a lot to me. Today, I wanted to talk about new makeup releases, my thoughts, if I would purchase or pass, what I said about the packaging, if I plan on picking it up, if I'm going to anti-haul it. There's plenty of these videos that go around and I love participating, but I don't always have the time to film it and edit it and upload it. So I was like, you know what? I'm feeling all oh, my earrings just fell. I am feeling sick. I have sinuses and allergies. So I was like, let's just chit chat on makeup, make me feel a little bit better. And let me know down below if you'll be purchasing any of these items that I do mention. But if you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Erica. Actually, I like to upload three videos every single week on Sundays, Tuesdays, and on Thursdays, talking about new makeup, project panning, shopping your own stash, thoughts on makeup, eyeshadow palette tutorials, all that fun stuff in makeup and beauty. So if that interests you, I'd love for you to hit that thumbs up, subscribe before you go, and turn on those notifications so you can wear all my future uploads. Also, if you are not already following me, please follow me on Instagram. I do share a lot of like new releases and stuff like that. And I'll have like a little heart. I uh, you can like move it and stuff like that. I go to the gym. I'm a wife, stepmom, fur mom, shell mom, plant mom. <laughs> so if any of that interests you, I'd love you to follow me there, heart, and engage, and we can chat on there. Let's go ahead and get on into the new makeup releases that's going on for the beginning of November. All right, you my beautiful friends. Let me pick up my earring really quickly. <laughs> All right, take their like you can hook them in, and I guess I didn't have it hooked right. So I will be pulling up from um, Trend Mode, Makeup Radar, or New Makeup Release Radar, Andy Spotlight, Transtopia. I'll try to leave all those down below, as well as a screenshot, and we'll have where I find it at at the top. But let's go ahead and go on into Trend Mode first of all. And I did not shop the Sephora VIB, so let's see what else they are releasing. And we'll talk about some older favorites that I plan on picking up, but I will not be shopping until the Black Friday. So there's so many Black Friday deals, and I, I have a lot of stuff I want to purchase, so you will definitely be seeing a Black Friday haul. All right, let's talk about the first thing that I do want to purchase. It is from Give Me Glow Cosmetics, and I do I have not purchased anything from Give Me Glow Cosmetics, but it is the Haunted Pumpkin Palette, and it will be released on Black Friday on their website. It retails for $45. It is a 10 pound eyeshadow palette, and each of those has like a little scary pumpkin. Um, yes, you know, Black Friday leads into Christmas. This is released a little bit late, but that's cool. I, I love fall. I will wear fall all year round. Um, my AC turned off. And, uh, uh, I guess because my allergies, I'm like sweating. But it's beautiful. Those that bright orange, orange, that bright orange, that burnt orange, the pastel orange, the blues, the the top one in the middle. Um, what is it called? Pumpkin possession. Um, do not carb. I just love every single shadow in that palette. I absolutely love. So I will be purchasing that as well as looking at what else is on the Give Me Glow Cosmetics website. I have heard their singles are pretty good. I do know a lot of people who use them. They're pretty big pans. So I may create a little singles eyeshadow palette, but we shall see. But this will be releasing on Black Friday. And if you are interested, go ahead and set your alarms to pick that up. Let me know down below if this um, tickles your pickle. Alrighty, we got another release from ColourPop. Um, I don't know who this is, Mary L. Apparently, I am following her on Instagram. I did not know. I won't be picking this up, but I do want to pick up some things from ColourPop when they do have a sale part of their Star Wars collection. All I have is the Child palette. I want to get the Galaxy one, the Mandalorian, the Darth Vader, and the new 3C3PO. I only watched one episode or the first episode of Star Wars and I really loved it. I don't know what I thought it was, but it was kind of like corny and cheesy and funny. So I want to watch all of the Star Wars and so I want to start collecting all the Star Wars palettes from ColourPop. Before I just got the child because he's a cutie and I love, love, love greens. I mostly got it for greens not due to um, the Baby Yoda or the whatever he is, whatever his name is. I always forget his name, but I will not be picking up this collection. It does, it's pretty cute, but I don't know who that is. Like I said, I do follow her and I didn't even know that I was 
following her on Instagram. But ColourPop does release all the time. I was just chatting with somebody the other day, or just yesterday, like, I'll place a ColourPop order, and I'll get my ColourPop order, and I'm like, what the hell did I order? So let me know if you enjoy ColourPop. And I do have quite a bit of ColourPop palettes in my collection that I can throw out more ColourPop content if that is a favorite brand of yours just let me know down below i do quite enjoy color pop i love them all right let's talk about a sunscreen it is from it's black girl sunscreen and it says make it spice it is available now it is 24.99 it says last year it was an april fool's joke this year is the real thing did you get yours and I think that's pretty awesome. I'm assuming because, you know, the a lot of SPFs have that light cast. I still um light to medium, medium in the summertime. And it's still, I don't like that white cast. So I can't imagine, you know, being in extra pigmented and having that white cast. I'm glad that they did that, but they said it was like a joke. And I guess everyone really loved it. So that is a thing. Um, I may want to... I would have to smell this. I don't like pumpkin spice, but if it does not smell like pumpkin spice, I may pick it up. Um, but also I have to look at their ingredients as well because I need to make sure that it does have zinc oxide. That is my favorite sunscreen ingredient. Alrighty, let's talk about a funny one. Um, <laughs> Kylie Cosmetics is coming out with the Wizard of Oz collection. I do love the Wizard of Oz. I love the Scarecrow. I love Dorothy, I love the Tin Man, I love the Cowardly Lion, I love Toto, I love it all. But um, I have not bought anything from Kylie Cosmetics in a very long time. I bought her Burgundy palette, which I want to do a throwback Thursday eyeshadow palette with because I saw my Facebook, I got it like six years ago, and I guess when it was released, maybe it was released before, I'm not too sure. But this, I don't know, it kind of looks kind of funny. Um... She does really well with her packaging, but her inside color stories does not really make sense. Like, she did the Batman collection one. Let me see if I can find that one. She's just releasing, you know, she's just releasing too many things. Here it is, the Batman one. Uh, that was the video. Like, the outside packaging, she kills the outside packaging. Like, I wanted her Nightmare on Elm Street one, her Grinch, but her quality isn't the best. And I... I'm in my, I'm the only one in my room. Like, I don't have a lot of people that traffic in my room. My husband doesn't come up here. You know, I can only put so much in my background. So I'm not going to buy pieces just for the beautiful packaging. I need the inside to work really well. And, you know, if it works well for you, that's cool. But I haven't heard, not, I haven't heard very many good things. Her lipsticks are used to like, they just are really, really dry. Speaking of the Kardashian sisters, Kim, um... Where is it at? I'm not too sure. But Kim Kardashian, there was a tweet asking when is she going to um, release makeup. And she said they are working on new formulas soon. I will leave a little tweet right here. And I am so glad I did like KKW's formula. Um, I bought their palettes when they were half off at Ulta, I believe. I don't want to open all the way. <laughs> But I enjoyed her lipstick formula. Her, I heard her lip liner formula is amazing. I think I only have one shade. I do have three of her palettes. Well, I actually have four of her palettes. Um, I bought this one for like $13. I do have a lot of her lip glosses. So I thought her formula was pretty dang good. So I'm interested to see how well the formula is now. And I definitely will be picking something up when she throws out a sale. I don't like to purchase makeup full price. I like to wait for a sale. Also, ColourPop is coming to Target. How exciting is that? Um, ColourPop is a huge company already in the beauty community. If you don't know who they are, just go to their Instagram and you will see dozens and dozens. You you will definitely find uh, a color story to your liking with ColourPop. They do do a lot of collabs. They do release a lot. A lot of people can't stand that. But since the beginning, they said they wanted to be like the fast-paced fashion, kind of like how fashion is. They're throwing out things all the time. There's new trends turning over weekly, daily. That's what ColourPop wanted to be, and that's who they are. And you can get mad about it, but that's, that, you know, that's their business, whatever. But they definitely will be in Target soon. I think that's pretty awesome because 
what if you like makeup but you're not into the Instagram world, you're not into the YouTube world, and you're shopping for clothes or, you know, pampers or, or dog treats or whatever, you know, or you're just your regular drugstore makeup that you know that has there and you see ColourPop, oh, what is this? I pick, you pick it up and then, you know, you discover a new brand that way. So that is, you know, ColourPop just cornering the market. ColourPop is just cornering the market. Let's go on to an eyeshadow palette that I definitely want, but I will get it on sale. It is from Natasha Denona, one of my favorites. We all know I love Natasha Denona. It is the Retro Glam Eyeshadow Palette, and I do love it. It is very pastel-y. Um, I wish it was a little bit more darker, but I am a collector and a lover and a stan, I guess. I don't even really know what that word means, but I guess it means you're a fan. I don't really know. But I definitely will pick this up on a Black Friday sale if this one is available on sale. Because I know sometimes her older palettes are on sale and not her newer palettes, but we shall see. I just think it's beautiful. Her shimmers are very beautiful. Um, and I want to add this to my collection as well as her Dream Palette. I didn't pick it up, but I am waiting for a sale. And the Dream Palette is those darker tones that I love. So I definitely want both of them. Sometimes color, um, sometimes on Natasha Denona's website, she does have like, um, bundles where you could get like the glam and the bronze or the glam and the retro, which I already have all of those. The last palette that I got from Natasha was, but gives it to me by my mother, it was the retro, the midi one. So I'm excited about that. I definitely will be picking that up during Black Friday, of course. Speaking of the Natasha Denona Retro Glam, um, this will be available from Sydney Grace um, November the 14th. Today is the 9th, so I'm not too sure when you will see this. But if you are a fan of Mel Thompson, we all know she passed away a little over a year ago. And she created, I guess it must have been quite some time ago, she created her single shadows from Sydney Grace. And she created her take on a retro glam, retro glam eyeshadow palette and in Mel's memory this will include 20 single shadows the price for the entire bundle is $60 um, and the singles will be available at a discounted price at $350 on November the 14th starting at 9 a.m. PDT and it says upon request so many of you lovely people Mel's version of a retro glam, retro glam palettes will be available as a bundle the bundle will be called in mel's memory i think that is so awesome they are doing that i do want her collaboration palette with sydney grace i don't know if it's still available but still the proceeds are still going to help mel's family and i think that's just amazing of sydney grace because they could be like oh you know you're not here let's stop it but they are still continuing to support mel's family in their desperate time of need you know wife as a mother passing away that's very unfortunate i've had people in my life pass away and it's it's very hard so and her kids were young so i'm glad that sydney grace is doing it and i do plan on picking that up i hope it's not limited edition because i can't be buying all these things on black friday so that is definitely on my radar to pick up now i headed to makeup release radar official um and let's Nimya is created by Nikki Tutorials, if you did not know, and she came out with her first eyeshadow palette. It looks like a BH Cosmetics color story. I have not personally tried Nimya at all. The color is very neutral with the pop of navy, a pop of orange, and then a regular pop of blue. It's nothing extravagant. Um, it's, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but... I probably won't pick it up because I don't know the formula. Let's see how much it is. I don't know how much it is, but I heard her brand is pretty pricey. So I will not be picking this up. Maybe if I hear reviews and it's just amazing quality. I didn't hear really good things about nothing else that she released. But of course, I'm always the type of person. I will try it for myself. I just won't believe everybody. Now, facial products, skincare, and if they have my type of skin, I will tend to believe them. If they've proved me right in the past but it's just a regular color story with a pop of orange and a pop of blue I will be better off with that pumpkin palette from gimme glow cosmetics 
All right, let's talk about some drugstore makeup. Revlon is coming out with a Revlon Illuminant Skin Caring Foundation. It has 5% squalene, which my skin does like squalene, and hyaluronic acid. The fact that it does have hyaluronic acid, it might be made for drier skin, but they have 28 shades. Um, the full range is not shown. It's missing five shades, but it does have the darker tones. It's not just full of light tones. So I may want to try this. I don't think Revlon is cruelty free. Um, I loved their Candid foundation. I absolutely love that one. So I might give this one a go. Maybe do a full face of drugstore. Get ready with me and try this out. Um, Revlon, I end up liking their stuff, but they're just not a favorite brand or a brand that I go to or a brand that I cruise their, you know, Instagram or anything like that. But the fact that it does have squalling in it, I do want to check it out. It is $13. Let's go on over to the indie makeup. Now, be perfect. I have never tried any of their eyeshadow palettes. They are quite large. They're like, I don't know, 80, 80 shadows. No, they're not 80 shadows. Um, 45 shades. They're pretty large and a lot of them look the exact same. So if you've tried Be Perfect, please let me know what I need to get. There is one that has like, it looks like a fall palette. It has oranges and the burnt reds and the greens and the golds. If it is worth checking out, let me know and I will grab that one. But I mean, if you love the large palettes, that is cool. It does have a lot of the cooler tones and I think it's a rainbow with a cool tone and and I, I don't know a lot of them do look exactly the same I know they're pretty reasonable um, it's in pounds I don't know how much it is um, in USD so I will definitely maybe check that out if y'all do say hey the formula is great it's just bulky packaging I won't travel with that I have places to store it's not a problem but you know I love ColourPop. Their palettes are a little bit smaller, so it's, it's a little bit easier to collect those than to collect larger eyeshadow palettes, you know what I mean? 45 shadow, shadows, that is a lot. <laughs> It'll take me a while to work through that whole shadow palette to use each shade once. Now, this is pretty cool. It is um, from Mamacita Cosmetics. It's a newest release. is a Day of the Dead palette, and it has those colors that I absolutely love. Those grungy greens, those grungy golds, those grungy browns, those oranges. So let's see how much this is. Oh, and it's only 30 USD. I've never heard of this brand. Um, I do like to purchase from indie brands. Of course, it does take a long time to get here. But the quality is always, always really great. So I will probably be picking this up. Hopefully, hopefully they have a Black Friday sale and I can grab this. I am hitting the 20 minute mark, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. If you do like these videos, there's constantly being makeup that is being pushed out, that is being released. If you wanted me to chat about it, you know, maybe you don't have time to go through Instagram and see what's being released, but maybe I can do a drugstore one, a high end one, or a Sephora one, an Ulta one, and then an Indie one. Maybe I could break it down. But I just wanted to chat about some makeup, all the new releases. A lot of this is, I didn't think so, but a lot of it is stuff that I want to pick up that just kind of caught my eye just scrolling through the Instagram. So I do like that palette. And by scrolling and making this video, I found a new brand that I want to try and a new indie brand. So we shall see what else they have. It looks so beautiful. I have to get this palette. Um... My husband's like, buy whatever you want for your birthday. My birthday was October 28th. And um, I was like, I'm going to wait till Black Friday so I can have sales. I can get, you know, I like to purchase everything on a sale. So I'm going to tell him I found one of the things that I want. So, um, yeah, I definitely will be purchasing that. And when I do, you will see a tutorial, a review with that. So let me know if these videos interest you. If they do, cool, I'll continue to make them. If they don't then maybe I will just release them here and there when I feel like chatting about makeup because today was fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, I am a little under the weather, so if I'm not quite as excited or I sound a little more stuffed up, that is why. 
but I hope you all have a wonderful day and thank you for staying to the end. If you are here to the end, leave a little shopping bag because we're going to be doing a lot of shopping for Black Friday and you'll be seeing hauls. But thank you guys. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe before you go. I love you all. Happy November.